Airbus launched their A220 series in 2018 after purchasing the C-Series from regional jet manufacturer Bombardier. There were two models, the A220-100 and the A220-300. In this video, we will be looking at how these aircraft are different and which is superior. Make sure to stay tuned to find out which is superior by watching this video to the end. Airbus decided to try to take a foothold in the regional jet market when they purchased a majority stake in the C-Series. The two variants, the Dash 100 and the Dash 300, are both considered regional jets. The Dash 300 is larger and has a better range than the Dash 100 variants. To determine some key differences between these two aircraft and to determine which is superior, we will look at a couple categories. But before we do that, please consider subscribing. Over 90% of you are not subscribed, and it's really just as easy as clicking that red button below. Our first category will be to compare the two's capacity and range. The A220-100 seats up to 120 passengers in a typical two-class layout. It's laid out in a two-free layout, which maxes the seating capacity of the jet while not scrutinizing the comfort. It has a range of 3,394 miles, which will be enough for most high-demand regional routes. The A220-300 can seat 145 passengers in a typical two-class layout. It is also laid out in a two-free layout. It has a range of 4,370 miles, which enables the possibility of some interesting routes. It has the feasibility of expanding not just in the regional routes category. The difference in this category between the two is stark. The A220-300 has a longer fuselage and has superior seating capabilities. It also has better range, which makes it more versatile. The A220-300 also wins this category. The next category is the plane's efficiency. The A220 is a very efficient plane. With new aerodynamic features and composite materials, the A220 has all of the latest technologies to make it more efficient. It has up to a 20% lower fuel burn than the plane it replaces. The A220-100 will usually burn 10 gallons per mile in regular domestic flights. The Dash 300 variant is slightly less efficient at 11 gallons per mile because of its larger fuselage and larger fuel tanks, but it will get a better individual seat fuel efficiency because of its superior capacity. So the smaller Dash 100 variant is more efficient, but the Dash 300 variant has better seat economics. So the Dash 100 will be better for airlines not needing the capacity and the range of the Dash 300s. But the Dash 300 will be better for airlines with the need for more capacity and more range at a low operating cost. Our third and final category is the aircraft's orders. This can help us determine which aircraft is more popular and makes more sense for airlines to order. The A220-100 has 94 orders, with its biggest customer being Delta Airlines with almost half of the total Dash 100 order sheet, with 45 ordered. The Dash 300 is much more popular, probably because of its better versatility in operating economics. It has 548 orders, with its biggest customer being JetBlue, with 70 of the aircraft orders. So, ultimately, what's the difference between these two aircraft? Well, the A220-100 is a smaller regional jet that can easily compete with other smaller regional jets like the Embraer E195-E2, while the A220-300 is bigger and has the capability to even compete with Boeing 737 MAX series. The difference is obvious. The Dash 300 is a stretched version of the Dash 100 and has larger fuel tanks. Their cabins are essentially the same, and so are their features. As far as superiority goes, we can't really put one clearly in front of the other. They are built to be different and cannot directly compete with each other. But if you do want to go by what the categories we looked at, the AG20-300 would be better. This won't be true for all airlines. But it does seem that the majority of the airlines prefer the Dash 300 variant as we saw in the final category. Do you agree with this assessment? Let me know down in the comments. Also, we are so close to reaching 100 subscribers, so make sure you help me get there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. It helps this video reach more people. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next.